series fourth one uh, the perimeter of a rectangular sheet of uh, sheet is 100 cm you are given the perimeter and the measure of the perimeter is 100 cm if the length is 35 cm yes one more measure you are given the length it is how much 35 cm find its breadth yes and also the area okay so in the previous question you are given the area and the length now and it was asked to find its perimeter there and the breadth now uh, length uh, so here uh, you are going to find the breadth and also the area here you are given once again the length but the perimeter is given okay very simple so here suppose if it is a rectangular sheet what you are given sheet is what perimeter means this one yes the length uh, this is length and this is breadth okay something like this one okay i'll show you no. suppose something like this one if you have a paper and this one is called as its length okay this one this edge and this is the bread okay this length and the breadth you are given uh, the sum of this length okay something like this one you are given very simple this is length and the breadth perimeter means sum of this 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 and this one okay all the four sides how much it is 100 centimeter and we know the formula to find the perimeter also so we are given perimeter is equal to 100 centimeter and uh, length equal to 35 centimeter what is asked here to find the breadth that is b is equal to how much and also area is how much so what we'll do we'll take help of this perimeter and the length and we'll try to find breadth and the area okay now first of all we'll go with the perimeter formula perimeter of a rectangle you know perimeter of a rectangle is very simple is equal to 2 into bracket l plus b is it so don't get confused with area and the perimeter now put the value perimeter of rectangle is 100 you know this is equal to 2 as it is length it is 35 plus breadth something like this one yes see children what mistakes uh, you people do often uh, i'll solve and show you 2 into 35 plus b is it if you have here the mistakes what happens with the uh, solution of this one this type of expression so what you will do 100 minus 2 equal to 35 plus b okay this solution is wrong so this is multiplication sign and when it comes this side it becomes division so what you are doing here 100 upon 2 equals to 35 plus b this way you are writing and even you can go with multiplication of this and this one and this and this one and afterwards you can transfer so better to go with the simple method after multiplication once again you have to transfer this sign so what i am doing here i am following simple method uh, 100 upon 2 equals to this 2 comes down 35 plus b as it is yes now this is very simple 2 and 250 is 100 that you know 52 is 100 then what remains here 50 equals to 35 plus b yes write this as it is now transfer this 35 here and you will get the bread okay that is 50 minus 35 is equal to b yes 50 minus 35 is how much this is 5 this is 50 very simple 50 minus 35 you're going to get this one 10 and this one going to make it 4 okay this is 5 and this is 1 equals to b yes now what you got here bread as 50 centimeter breadth equal to 50 centimeter already we are given length length is given 35 centimeter so what to do here next area of rectangle is is equal to length into breadth we have area of rectangle is given by length into breadth so we know the value of length and also the value of breadth so it is 35 into 50 multiply so here you have simple multiplication 35 into 50 okay 5 5 is 25 carry 2 5 is 15 plus 2 is 70 and this is 35 ones are 35 so this is 5 this is 12 4 and this is 5 525 is a multiplication of this one 525 square centi 
meter. This is because you were given the measures length and breadth. What are you have uh, given perimeter and the length? They are in centimeter. So area is also comes in square centimeter. Give importance to these units. Okay. So this is what we have to calculate the area and what it.